right, we're doing a quick, what do they call, one day build. Uh, I don't have a grate to put my logs on in the fireplace. Uh, and research on the internet tells me that the best design is a thing called the Great Wall of Fire, uh, which kind of is vertical in the back and then it scoops up so the embers fall down and radiate into the fireplace. So I've got three, and here's the fourth piece. I'm getting ready to bend it in the bender over here. Probably have to swap out the, the die, but... We'll see how that goes. Okay, so I got my four pieces of steel uh, marked out for the bends, and then the idea is that this is the back here. <clears throat> and it sits, let's see if I can do this one-handed, vertical, and then it comes up like that, and then this all in one go. Yeah, something like Something like that. So basically the logs sit in this top half and then the embers will drop down into the lower half. Um, it looks better when I'm doing it with two hands, but that's the general idea. And uh, this is the front, so the embers will fall down here. And uh, that's what radiates all the heat out into the room. And then it keeps the smoke uh, going up this back part here, in theory. If not, uh, it's 10 bucks worth of steel. So, uh, and yeah, this is like thin wall steel tubing, which is like the exact wrong type of steel for this, but um, I can always buy steel bar later and improve it. Okay, um, this fourth bend is a little difficult to get in, but that's sort of, that's sort of the idea that I'm looking for. Um, the logs will fall in here. And then the embers drop down there, and there'll be four of these boom, 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 uh, with some cross bracing on the outside. Uh, so I've got the second one here in the jig, and uh, I'll give it a bend here in a second. And yeah, I do have a bunch of random fish food. That's right. And then, uh, of course, it's difficult to get out, so we disassemble. And... Uh, not bad. I can fix that in post, but that should be good enough for the fireplace. Back you go. Ready for bend number three. So I figured out how to get both of these kinks in there. Okay. Um, I've got my little marker here. Put my metal in. Die goes in the bender. go and ready to bend so this will bend to there and I'll be done okay so I got my Dura flame in here that looks like it's about right um, I don't imagine I'm, I'm gonna be burning anything larger than this um, so that should be okay and it definitely fits okay so and it definitely stops there, so the design appears to be correct. Okay, doing some real eyeball engineering here today. Um, I was looking, I was like, do I really want four? Because that's really not wide enough. So I decided to bend up a fifth one. I think that should fit good on the three in the middle, and if you set it wrong, it'll be okay. So I think I'm gonna run, on the inside here, I'm gonna run uh, one bar and then on the outside, I'll run another bar somewhere and then two diagonal supports that come out. And we'll see what that looks like. All right, got some smoke pouring out there. Freshly welded. Uh, didn't look too bad. It's definitely something going in the fireplace and not in my wife's office. But uh, that should hold a log. A wood okay um, so I got the back piece and then another front piece to hold that together and uh, we'll see how it sits and then add some supports okay this is very ad hoc but um, it looks like it's sitting flat on the back and then um, it sits flat on its own which is great news and my Duraflame 
Oops. Sits in there. So it'll burn, embers will fall down, the other logs will go on top, and then the heat, the radiant heat is transferred out. So yeah, kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> this piece will go, I think, right about, right about there. Uh, I'll measure the distance from here to the floor and then make sure this is about there. That should be that step. Okay, uh, there she is welded up or tacked in place at least. Um, we'll add a support on either side and I think we'll call that good. Okay, um, well, I'm not pleased with the spacing on these two. Uh, but that's what happens when you build this without a jig hanging upside down in the air. Let's do the old Duraflame here. Yeah. I think, you know, realistically, we're not going to do more than two or three of these in a night. So I think yeah, it looks okay. It'll get all black and sooty and rusty here soon. And, uh that leg it's gonna get bent out as soon as this thing cools down a little bit and uh yeah we'll uh, throw it in the fireplace and give it a give it a go and then there's the, the side view so you can see you have a log here a log there a log there and then the embers and stuff will uh fall down and there's my hand for scale so maybe it's a little tall but I don't know, I designed it in about 90 seconds. So. Uh, this was really just an excuse to bend some pipe and get comfortable with that. God, it's a nasty, nasty weld, but I'm welding it on the floor here. Um, yeah. Give it a shot and see what happens. Okay. There it is in a... What do you got in your hands? I have a piece of firewood, boo-boo. So let's see here. That in. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I think I can just grab this thing. That's your clock. And this goes in like that. And there we go. It almost looks like someone designed it to fit in there. So, they recommend you put a shield behind there because I think that puts a lot of heat into the fire brick. But yeah, we'll give that a shot. Woody. It's a fireplace. It's a fire. <laughs> Woo! Scary. You have to stay away from the fire, okay? I think that worked out pretty good. Water. So the downside is uh, it's thin wall metal tubing, so it's going to mm. probably burn through in, I don't know, one or two years, but we can always get a better one. What is thin wall metal tubing? The whole thing is made out of thin wall metal tubing. Yeah. It's fireproof, but it's not that, that great. Most of the, the good ones are made out of cast iron. Hey, I need some water, please. Please be careful, Zadie. You're going to fall into that. That thing has... It's just water, okay. so she can look through it to see the fire. Oh, you want to see the fire in the cup? Here, so Daddy brought it so you can see the fire in the cup. Extra. Do you see it? Extra. Do you see the fire? In the cup?
flop. Oh, so. mommy's doing a web. You can do a web flop. So you can see the embers down here wow. at the bottom, and then it's working That's as so intended. Cool. Wow. Send me that video, please. That's really nice. Do you want to see a web flop? Yes, I do. Okay. It's a web flop. It means a cow drink. 